Hi guys, it's Galia here from Art is Magic Online and I've just got the Stabilo marks or pencils here. Paper, glass, plastic, metal is what they're meant to work on. Um, the aquarellables. Uh, I have black, red, grey and green and I know a lot of people are having trouble finding these. Um, I got my first one sent for me to me from some friends in the States and when I was there last I grabbed some more as well. Um, so they're not always hard to find but there have been a few places that have been discovered but let's have a look at them because we've been discussing alternatives. So first up the black Stabilo. I'm just going to lay them down and then we'll activate them red gray and green now I don't really use these other colors I just grabbed them because um, they were in front of me or well, someone sent them to me I can't even remember I think I bought them um, and I think there's a sepia one too which might be a little bit more useful. The next thing I wanted to compare it to is um, what I found to be the best contender to the Stabilo. Where has it gone? Hmm, lost it. All right, let's start with this one. This is a Derwent graphic tint, midnight black, and you can see it's it's more like a grey. These are actually really beautiful. They come in some beautiful colours, but they're soft. They come in like beautiful earthy colours. Um, I also have. Is this the black one? Ink Tense. Ink Black. This is the one that I have found to be the closest contender. It is Ink Tense. It's got that sort of black to it. Um, I also have the Faber and Castell um, Aquarellas, but I don't have the black one to test. So I just have here Sepia and Midnight Grey. So this is the Sepia and the Faber-Castell and this is the Grey. Again doesn't have that rich blackness that we're looking for. Um, and also I have, did I find Dark Wash in the Derwent sketching, which again is a grey. Oh, that's a Derwent sketching. So they are the ones that I have found. So let's activate them a bit and see how they go. So there's the Stabello. It's got a bit of movement there with that ink. If we look at it next to the Intense. It moves not quite as much, but it still moves. And that's the Faber and Castell. The Intense has got a fair amount of ink in it. The graphic tint is much softer. As is the Derwent sketch. That's got a little bit in it, but it's still the grey rather than a black. And then let's just have a look at. How these go. See if I wanted colour I would probably use the ink tents rather than the Stabilo. So there we go. You can see when I spray it the Stabilo moves a lot more. The ink tent stays more put so depending on what you're doing ink tents might actually be better. Um, where have I put it? The Stabilo you can buy just the black, so you can buy yourself 10 of these to have on hand. Whereas I think, but I'm not sure, the ink tents might only come in a collection of colours, so it's convenient to buy this one on its own. 
One thing to watch though is if you're having it shipped and you're paying for all the postage just to get one pencil, you want to make sure it's wrapped properly because they can break and you can chew through them with the um, lead broken inside. So watch that um, if you're going way out of your way to get them. Um, I just wanted to show them on here. I have some gesso, some gel medium, and then some heavy bodied acrylic paints so that we can see how they move over those. Deep indigo, what have I done with the black one of that? There we go. So the Stabilo. And this is the Ink Tense. See, they both will, will write quite nicely over your mediums. Um, but you do get quite a different effect with how they respond to the water. Oh, one other quick thing, or two other quick things. Uh, the Neo color was also suggested as, as an alternative. I don't have it in black. I have the Midnight Blue here. Um, this is the Neo color. You can see that it's not as fine, you can't sharpen it up as much, but it does move quite nicely in the in the water. Not quite as much as the black stabilo, but a little bit. And it will write over your mediums as well. And because we were doing water solubles, I thought it might be fun to pull this out. This is the elegant writer. Um, Paper's a bit wet here. So let's spray this one up. It moves as well. Um, and you can see that you get this sort of um, split toning coming out of it, sort of from a green to a purple. Um, in the sketchbook cap challenge I did a few months ago, you'll see one of the sketches in there. I did a drawing with this and then activated it to sort of bring in. Um, the shadow areas. I did uh, four little thumbnails and one of them was with this to, to test my medium. So you might want to have a look at that. So there you go guys. That is the Stabilo alternatives. I'm going to pop links down the bottom to what I've used so you can have a look and um, see what you've got in your kit already. Bye.